Welcome back to another video on the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. So today what we're going to be doing is checking out the dual wield hammer execution that dropped in Maxis's bundle yesterday. So we're going to be doing the same thing that we did yesterday, which is combining two bundles for one video. So we're going to be checking out this wood skin right here. It's called the rogue skin, but the execution we're going to be checking out is called nailed down. And this actually dropped in the Maxis bundle. And this execution is a dual wield hammer execution. And it looks like a hammer to me. It may be called something else. You guys can let me know down below in the comment section if it's actually called something else. But you pretty much use the backside of the hammer that you take nails out with. You smack it in their shoulders and then then you throw them on the ground and then you smack both sides into the side of their necks. Did I just say necks? What? You get what I was trying to say though. But anyways, when it comes to the gameplay, you guys need to watch to the end, man. <laughs> I was not having it today. But nonetheless, hopefully you guys end up enjoying today's video. If you do, make sure you drop a like down below. Let's see if we can hit 8,700 likes today. Also, if you're brand new to the channel, I'd really appreciate if you could drop me a sub. And if you haven't already, make sure you turn on post notifications so you never miss out on the upload. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, man, the downtown vibes are in full effect today. We don't have a buy station at fire, so we're going to have to get our cash here and get our loadout going, man. Hopefully it goes well. Played a couple games today, and man, everybody or everywhere I land, someone lands, you know? Nothing's been smooth. I'm surprised there's not more people here going to the uh, the plaza here. Someone's got a bounty on me this close already. I just got to get real lucky with cash right now, man. Oh, there's a throwing knife. Oh, we got averted. Nice. Just need a little bit more cash, and we'll have enough for the loadout. I think I may use the sticks today. And we got enough for the loadie. Let's get going, man. And there's a person with a king contract mad close down low. I wonder if they're going to head this way, though. Oh, he's in a fight with somebody there. Oh, he hopped in the vehicle. Oh, wait, what? Oh, he killed him. Okay. Yep, they're still fighting. There's a lot of people that timed out. Can the loadout come in? What's taking it so long? Yep. All right, let's rock the six today, guys. I think what I may do is just go over here and get the bounty going. Looks like he looted him. Maybe he went into the... Oh, wait, he's down low over here, dead ahead. That's where he went. Oh, no, there's two people fighting here on the scavy. Wow. Oh, he should have never turned his back. You're going back out the game, aren't you? I knew it. I knew as soon as he just sat there like that, he was going to back out of the game. <laughs> hey, that's it. That is what it is, man. Nothing you can really do about it. I don't think they're ever going to fix that, you know? You'd hope they fix it in the future, but I don't think it's ever going to be fixed. The vault has been opened. Okay, let's just go after the person we have a bounty on. Please tell me he's not going all the way to the top of that building. And he is. And he's dead, I think. Oh, no. They're right there. Just making sure... Nope. Okay. I mean, that works. I mean, I was trying to execute him. I don't know how the stun didn't hit him, but apparently it just didn't. Very weird and very odd. Oh. Wait. What the fuck? Dude, my controller's messed up, I think. <laughs> it's happened two days in a row here. All right, that's the new execution right there, guys. Oh, dude. I just want to hit the buy station. Okay. Oh, okay, we don't have enough for another UAV. I thought we were going to. Well, that kind of sucks. There's a guy right here. We don't have a vehicle to get there fast. And there's one all the way up top. I don't think I can get to this guy. Yeah, he's got ghost anyways. Hmm, maybe we just head this direction to somebody we know where someone is. Like, maybe this building? Is there any bounties I can go for? There's one here. And we also know that there's somebody in that building that I'm marked. I'm just going to hop in the Bertha and head over there. Kind of a slow game, a whole lot slower than I thought it was going to be. I thought there was going to be a lot of action in downtown, but unfortunately it just was not action packed in any way, shape or form. Hopefully later in this game, it'll get more action packed. And it's on a guy all the way up top. I kind of want to go after the person I have a bounty on, but then again, I feel like when I go up there, it's going to end up getting myself killed because people just love to camp in the weirdest spots up there. You know what? I'm just not even going to worry about them. I'm not going to pay it any mind. I'm just going to get out of here. Okay. Thanks, brother. He definitely went this direction. Is this the same guy I killed before? Could have been. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, not again. <laughs> oh, I kind of feel that, bro. It really do be like that. I think I'm gonna get him UAV and a spare, and then we'll just head into hospital. And we'll just wait this guy out. Like, I mean, there's a minute left. I mean, he's got time to rotate in 100%. 
Well, there's a Lodi here. What the hell? Need recon on my position. UAV entering the Dude just hopped in the V there. I wonder if this guy in the vehicle is going to stop here at Hospice if he's going to keep going. Looks like he's going to keep going, yeah. Unfortunately. There's no action in Hospice. Requesting recon. Alright, where do we go? Here? Okay. I'm just going to go there. That's the guy that we had seen beforehand. Looks like he's chilling downstairs. Yeah, he's ghosted. There's a guy opposite over here. Sounds like he's roof now. Yeah, he was just looting this. Definitely roof. Yes. We got him, boys. We got him. The dual hammer execution. Nope. Not kidding, you dog. I think I'm going to go hit the buy station and get a UAV going. I don't know what else we can really do in this situation. Friendly recon online. Oh, there's somebody over here. But they're more than likely going to be roof. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. <laughs> oh, yeah, the trip mine there, bro. Does, does that really count as like a trip mine kill? I've seen that happen in the other video. Dude, I just don't care anymore. It's not that big of a deal. I didn't shoot nobody. We're fine. Oh, there he is. I seen him on the roof. Yep, that's where he is. All right. I don't know how we're going to get up there to take him out, but I don't really... Actually, I don't really think that's a good idea. But yeah, I'm pretty sure in that situation it counts as a trip mine kill, but there's nothing I can do. Like, I, I, I threw a freaking thermite at him to take him out of his camping spot, and it blew up his trip mine and killed him. What else can I do in that situation? There's, there's not much I can do about preventing that, you know? It's like back in the day when you played Search and Destroy and a bomb blew somebody up that was trying to defuse it. Like, there's nothing you can really do about that. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It sucks, right? It's not a knife kill, but it's just something that naturally happens and it, there's no way to get around it. There's a guy in this house now. Let's just go ahead and head for him and try and take him out. Requesting recon. UAV entering the AO. He's stuck. Oh, that's easy money. Easy sticks. Yep. He's dead. Now, I'm not sure if there's another guy around here. We're gonna have to be careful. Where'd he go? Oh. oh, I think he killed it. He may have killed the other guy here. Yeah. Oh, he had munitions. Okay. Oh, okay. Somebody hopped in one of those vehicles back there. I'm gonna play it a little slow here. Boom. It's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up. Ah, oh, man didn't use his head right there. It's gonna blow up. That, that vehicle gets stuck. It's going to blow up. That's why I use thermites now. Screw throwing knives. Throwing knives are absolutely horrible for Warzone. They're not bad for taking people out that are already down if you're using red guns or something, but when you're knifing, like, you gotta use an explosive, like a thermite or C4. Oh, he just hopped in the vehicle here and just said, screw it. I don't think he even seen me. Enemy UAV overhead. Oh, he got out here. What the hell? That's weird. This is a weird building to push now, too, because there's only two entrances. The one right here and the one in the front. Oh, okay. Enemy UAV overhead. Enemy UAV overhead. I don't know how I can go about this. Enemy UAV overhead. So I'm in here. I'm assuming there's another guy in here. There's also a guy to my left. Well, he's dead. I don't know. That's freaking weird, bro. See where this next circle goes so we can figure out where we need to get to. Still a big circle here, man. And there's only 13 other players left with this big of a circle. Wow. Maybe we can get that. And consolation loop because everybody's already had a bounty on their head. Well, that sucks. I got a feeling everybody else in this lobby is going to be ghosted at this point. I can try to go here and get a UAV, but I don't think it's going to be much help. Need recon on my position. Well, there's one here, which it might be advantageous for us to get there. Just say screw it and just run over there right now. I think it's our best bet. I mean, we can't really play aggressive here. We don't have a berth. We don't have a vehicle to really drive around and, and play aggressive with. I was kind of listening, see if I can hear anybody in here. There's definitely a guy on the hill there in the bertha. Is someone gonna 
shoot he's definitely camping up top there's no doubt about it like dude had a claymore here i just don't want to go up that then get hit with a claymore and then end up dying and there's one above me nope you're dead And there's three people in Berthas in this final here. I don't really know what we can do other than just wait it out and just hope for the best. I mean, this is just how solos are. Hopefully, they end up making Berthas to the like where they can't be used after like the fifth circle. Like right now, we're we're already in the fifth circle. We're about to be in the sixth circle, and people are still in vehicles. Like granted, I do that a lot. I use vehicles because if I don't use them, somebody else will. You know, and I feel like that's the same reason why they're doing it because you know it's overpowered. If you don't do it, other people are gonna do it, and you're at a severe disadvantage if you don't do it. If you're just unlucky and don't have a Bertha. Because there is no structure out here unless we it pulls this way. And it doesn't pull this way. Yeah, there's five people in vehicles out here, man. Get that shit away from me, dog. Your birth is hurting, though. Yeah, I don't know what to do here, guys. If I'm not in a vehicle, everybody else is in a vehicle. Can you get inside of that building? You can get inside of that building. All right. Well, I guess we're in a building in the heart of the circle here. There's nothing else I can really do. <laughs> Solos, man. You gotta love them. Okay, now they're all in vehicles, pretty much. And he's gonna get rid of my vehicle. Really? What the hell? How is that even a thing? I'm so confused, dude. I was inside of the building and it still downed me. That doesn't make any sense. Damn it, dude. I wasted it. I can't move, I can't move, I can't move, dude! Oh my god, dude, the gas mask animation is so annoying. Oh, dude, you see, it completely cuffed me. The vehicle hit me, and oh my god, dude, solos, I'm out. I'm done for the day. No, I'm done.